This hour by Frederick Remington fully cooked ready to eat bacon. Exclusive no refrigeration 10 year extended shelf life bacon. The thickest media center cut bacon in the industry at fullycookedbacon.com. Welcome and thank you for tuning in today. I am Nasima, your host of the Nasima Omer Radio Show. You can always go to the website nasimaomer.com. That's o m e r dot com. Listen to the archives, podcasts, and then also find the YouTube file on my YouTube channel, the Nasima Omer Show. I'm very excited today. I have a very special program for you. I just returned from my trip to Amsterdam, Holland, Amsterdam, not too long ago. And I met a wonderful person, Mark Strakenberg. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Hello, Mark. That sounded pretty good. That oh, sounded pretty good. Hi, and Sima. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Uh, you're most welcome. Tell me, how do you pronounce your last name or your name in Dutch? My name in Dutch is Mark. That, that's the easy part. Uh-huh. And then, and then uh, Stakenberg. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. That's maybe a little bit more difficult, but it's, it's not that hard, is it? It's Stakenberg. But <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I like that. I like that. That's, that's difficult for English people to pronounce, to pronounce, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I want to tell uh, the audience a little about you and how we met. So I have a mutual friend. We have a mutual friend, Simone. Shout out to Simone. Hello, Simone. Miss you. Love you. (laughs) I know Simone through um, my business. We are business colleagues and also a good friend. And we met in Austin, Texas. As I understand, Mark, you and Simone first met in uh, Austin, Texas as well many, many years ago. And right. mm-hmm, and I was traveling to Amsterdam, and actually I've told Simone, and Simone has told me that we need to travel one time together when she visits Amsterdam, as she is from there originally. And unfortunately, last year didn't work out. But this year, I had an opportunity to visit Amsterdam with my friend Flavia. Shout out to Flavia. So I reached out to Simone and I said, Simone, short notice, I fly by the seat of my pants usually. Um, Any connections in Amsterdam or music? And I was looking particularly for music and dance. And that's when she connected me with you, Mark. That's right. And also Ron. And I am so happy to have met you in person in Amsterdam. And I will let you kind of give a little more about your background. Um, Mark is a journalist, has a passion and love for music, is an author. His book is in Dutch, but we'll talk a little bit about that too. But his adventures to Austin, Texas is where he met Simone as well. Mark, tell us a little more about your elaborate on what I've already mentioned. Ooh, um, well, I'm, I'm, um, I was a radio presenter for, for 30 years. That was really my, my profession. I started out in, I think, 1982, um, working for public radio in Holland. I did a lot of different shows. I did a lot of shows that had to do with music. But I also had a, a talk show, a one-on-one talk show, where I talked with a politician or a musician or what have you for for an hour um but mostly in my in my broadcasting years i i worked in um, programs that had to do with with music but because as you say that that's really my passion yeah and so music uh mark uh you went to school so you schooled in journalism that was your field of study when did music find its way into your heart 
I think at a very young age, um, I was lucky to have four sisters that were a little bit older, and uh, they were very much into music. So they come, they came home with you know the Beatles and the Stones and Elvis Presley. I'm I'm 60 now, um, so I'm from 57, right? Mm-hmm. And when the Beatles started out, let's say 63, 64, I was a little bit. I was a little bit young, but my little bit older sisters, I remember coming home with all these albums, uh, especially Sgt. Pepper uh, being in the house, and that was something that really thrilled me from the, from the beginning. So they really fed me with, uh, with their music from, from the start. And then when I was 12, I think, I started out playing records for friends of mine who were having their birthday or something like that. Mm-hmm. And that's where it really started happening. I was, I was playing these records, and then I started playing uh, music in, in discos in, in Holland. Uh, after that, I started playing records on parties with students. You know, I was, was, I was 15, 16 years old. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And it, uh, 23, 24-year-old uh, students were really having the night of their life and dancing away, and we what? were this young you playing were, music. <laughs> yeah, you were the DJ, a very young DJ. DJ. I was a really very young DJ. And then I thought, okay, what, what's, what's, what is it for me? What, what, what am I going to do? I never thought I would, I would be a radio presenter or something. But, you know, I went to the school for journalism, and then I thought, well, this is the end of my of my career in music, so I have to be a, a journalist from now on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then I could combine this love of music with, 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 with my love for journalism as well. And um, I started working out for a nationwide radio station when I was 24. Uh-huh. And um, yeah, from there on, I, I make more and more shows and could um, hold on to the music. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, just before we went on air here, you, you'd explained to me one of your favorite talk shows that you had for a very long time that was very famous and very popular in Holland. It's such an interesting concept where you pick the date and then what happened? Yeah, that was really a concept. I, I did that show for, I think, 13 years. And I stopped working for that show. It, it stopped um, five years ago, and still people are ask me, asking me about it. And the, the idea behind the show was, okay, today is, let's say, the 3rd of April, and what we would do in the show is go back a certain amount of years, but that very same date, so the 3rd of April of, let's say, 1984 or 1991 or whatever, and we would pick all of the music that was in the top 40 on that day, and we would talk to people who were in the newspaper on that very same day, and people could phone in with their memories of that specific date, uh, and of course the music of that specific date. So God. it got a nice blend of memories. Yes. Uh, but by people personally, by famous people, by known people, by what was in the news. So we would re erect let's say, uh, a day in the past. Mm-hmm. And that, that show lasted for three hours. So that was a wow. long show. Yeah. But in the end, you know, you had the, you had the feeling maybe that you, you relived this certain day from the past again. And that, that made, um, yeah. Yeah. People, very strong emotions with that. Oh, yes, absolutely. I can only imagine because music, you know, it's, it's a language that triggers memories and absolutely. so much more, so many more emotions and passion, changes your mood, either elevates or can bring it down too yes. sometimes depending on, on what state of mind or situation or phase of life yes. you're going through. Absolutely. So, the, 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 indeed, the music was the motor behind it all. That really sets in motion your your memory, and that combined with the history and the news and the persons was was a very very strong show. Yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful. Now, let me ask you: Is there a particular type of music that holds a very very special spot in your heart, or do you pretty much like all? I mean. But, and even with changing technologies, I mean, the music has evolved so much in, in just the delivery of sound, 
the instruments, and so much more. Ooh. When you ask me next week again, I'll, I'll give you an <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm, I, I, <laughs> very true, very true. Um, that's the problem with music. But, you know, when I was young, I, was, I always was busy with the latest music and the hippest music and the newest music. But then at a certain point, I thought, well, okay, maybe this band is hot and new. Mm -hmm. But I heard it before. I knew it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and it was done better in the past. Uh -huh. And then I started uh, going back. So, not the latest music anymore, but what is there before Elvis? Um, what, what, what kind of music was there in the 40s and the 30s? Where did it all start? And so that was a new adventure. And nowadays I'm really much, very much into the history of, of music. And yeah, so, um, and, and with that goes, goes very mm -hmm. different names, like, like, like Robert Johnson. Mm -hmm. I'm really fascinated by and one of the originators of, of blues music, just, just to name one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, that's fascinating. I, I do want to mention to um, let everybody know that while in Amsterdam, um, Mark, thank you so much for getting me engaged and involved. You invited me to watch a music show, a Tex-Mex music at a cute little theater and I, I'll probably butch, butcher the pronunciation, but it's Betty Asphalt, is it? Is that how you say it? And it's a very small theater in uh, the center of uh, Amsterdam. It's only got uh, 130 um, uh, people in it, I think, or a little 40 maybe. And um, yeah, what they, it's, it's a really nice theater. Yes. It's, it's small, it's cozy, it's, it's, it's warm, yes. it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, once. Face it, today's electric power grid is more vulnerable than ever. From natural disasters to EMP attacks and hacking, the grid could be crippled for days or even decades in the most dire scenarios. Visit quantumharvest.net to see our built-to-last EMP-protected solar power systems. While millions suffer, you'll have vital power for water pumps, refrigeration, and sanitation. Now that's peace of mind. EMP-protected solar power systems for every need and budget. See our full range at quantumharvest.net. I tried other brands, but I came back to my sunshine. For the best hot or cold pain relief, get the best. Get a Sunny Bay heating pad. Sometimes life can be a pain in the neck or back or shoulder. And the best relief for that pain is a Sunny Bay heating pad. Did you know that the American College of Physicians said that one of the best ways to treat muscle pain is heat therapy? Sunny Bay heating pads are handmade with high quality, can be used at home or at work, and have a lifetime 100% positive rating on both Amazon and Etsy. Why take another pill? Many people use our Sunny Bay heating pads alone and got rid of the neck pain. Long distance travel or long hours in front. Most of you know that heart disease is the number one silent killer in the U.S. What if I told you for just $54.95 a month you could fight against heart disease naturally? At Heart and Body Extract, we've been helping thousands of people get back to a healthier heart. Don't just take my word for it. Check out all of the success stories at hbextract.com. Or to order, call 866-295-5305. That's 866-295-5305. hbextract.com. Don't risk it when you can take charge of it. I tried other brands, but I came back to my sunshine. For the best hot or cold pain relief, get the best. Get a Sunny Bay heating pad. Sometimes life can be a pain in the neck or back or shoulder. And the best relief for that pain is a Sunny Bay heating pad. Did you know that the American College of Physicians said that one of the best ways to treat muscle pain is heat therapy? Sunny Bay heating pads are handmade with high quality, can be used at home or at work, and have a lifetime 100% positive rating on both Amazon and Etsy. Why take another pill? Many people use our Sunny Bay heating pads alone and got rid of the neck pain. Long distance travel or long hours in front of a computer can take its toll on your body. See why our homegrown small business at sunny-bay.com has tried to help people just like you. Get your Sunny Bay heating pads at sunny-bay.com. That's sunny-bay.com. Or call 253-678-1361. For hot and cold therapy, sunny-bay.com.
Anytime, any place, anywhere. Radio remains the most intimate of all forms of media. At home, at work, in the car, on smartphones. Over 90% of consumers still listen to radio every week. That makes choosing radio as a place to advertise your business one of the best decisions you can make. Email advertise at GCNlive.com and partner up with an experienced GCN representative. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. It's a no-brainer. A Big Berkey water filter is the one you need, period. You need a water filter that removes chlorine, fluoride, pharmaceuticals, BPA, and other endocrine disruptors, pesticides, bacteria, viruses, and much more, right? And does it all at only two cents per gallon. Get the original and most trusted name in gravity water filtration, Big Berkey. And now GCN listeners receive 5% off ceramic filter systems using code GCN. Call or click 1-877-99-BERKEY or BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. With uncertain times in the United States, it's only prudent to consider storing precious metals in a safe place outside of our borders. At Miles Frank Limited, we have done just that for you. Partnered with the most respected storage company in the industry, Miles Frank Limited is proud to offer the only fully insured private safe deposit box system in North America, held in Vancouver and Toronto. Send us your previously purchased precious metals or have one of our brokers help you purchase something new. Questions? Please call one of our experienced brokers at 866-485-4346. Solid foundational storage partnered with the most respected name in security. That's Miles Franklin Limited. Celebrating our 29th year in business without ever receiving a customer complaint. Call us at 866-485-4346. Again, that's 866-485-4346. Miles Franklin Limited. A name you can trust. Healthcare reform is confusing, but whether it's finding an affordable insurance plan, keeping your doctor, or being able to afford needed prescriptions, navigating the healthcare system has become a challenge. Control your own healthcare costs and choices with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is not insurance. It is an association of self-pay patients who unite with like-minded people to share the cost of each other's medical needs. Neighbor helping neighbor. Learn more now by going to libertyoncall.org. That's libertyoncall.org. Welcome back, and you are listening to the Nasima Omer Show. I am Nasima, your host, and I'm interviewing Mr. Mark Stackenberg from Holland, Amsterdam, a journalist, musician, love for music, an author, a radio broadcaster, and so much more. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting Mark in person while I was in Amsterdam. Feel free to listen to the show again and again. You can enjoy the archive files or the podcast files by going to nasimaomer.com. That's nasimaomer.com. Big kudos and thank you to Genesis Communication Network for producing my show. And a special shout out to our very special broad, uh, board operators we have on our Genesis Communication Network here, especially Brad, who's doing our show today. Um, Mark, talking about the Tex-Mex, yes, that was an amazing experience. It was wonderful. But now tell me, how you, how did your passion, love for music and history and everything and journalism, it makes sense uh, that you'd be an author, but how did that conspire? <laughs> mm, well, you know, um, at one point, some five years ago, um, I left broadcasting. I was I was with this company for 31 years, which was great. I had, I had a fantastic time. I could I could uh, present the, the, the fantastic shows. But you know, after after so many years, you're you're part of um, the environment, as we say in Holland. Mm-hmm. You're part of the chairs and and and. 
you know, uh, you need something else. And maybe the company needed some fresh blood as well. Mm-hmm. So I, I was thinking to myself, okay, what is there after broadcasting? And then when you close one door, the next door will open, as it, as it always does, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I got, I got this new friend who's really my, my neighbor. And what he does, he, he has this company that... Um, um, that organizes uh, motor travels, adventure motor, motor trial travels in, in Vietnam, in South America, in Africa, you know, driving through the jungle and through the mud and, and stuff like that. And he said to me, uh, okay, why don't you learn how to drive a motorcycle and go with me to Vietnam? This is really his big love. The guy uh, speaks Vietnamese. He's been there a hundred times. Mm-hmm. He really knows his way around. And I said, okay, I'll learn how to drive my motorcycle, and we'll go to Vietnam. Wow. I was, I was learning how to drive this motorcycle, and after, after three, three or four times, I was really thinking, this is fun. This is going so much faster than my old... Um, motorcycle junior thing when I was uh, 16 I, I really I really like this so I said to him I said to him okay um, you know what we're going to do is we're going to start having uh, motorcycles in America but then not adventurous but motorcycle rides that has to do with the history of American music wonderful I've been to, I've been to America quite a few times I've been to New Orleans to Memphis and stuff like that Mm-hmm. And um, I'll plan a motorcycle ride for two or three weeks telling people about the history of American music. Wonderful. And he said, fine. And I was kind of surprised. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, I really uh, was, have been there quite a few times, but mm-hmm. you really have to tell the story. Yes. So I had to study. I really had to study hard. Mm-hmm. And I was reading all kinds of books and, and stuff like that and, and, and playing records and stuff like that. And then I, he said to, I said to him, okay, uh, I have uh, 10 people with me, and um, we have this motorcycle tour, but, but I'm not a tour guide. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? Mm-hmm. He said, okay, um, I'll be a tour guide. I'll be the tour guide for the first 10 days. After that, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what was so magical about the 10-day cutoff point <laughs> for him? <laughs> He, he just wanted to go home. He, yeah, he, he wanted a break. He, he doesn't like riding Harley Davidson. Okay. <laughs> he wants to drive through the mud and through uh-huh. the jungle and uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. American roads. And, yes. you know, he, and, and of course, he, he wanted to throw me into deep water. <laughs> Which is good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. So halfway down there, we were in Memphis, and he said, okay, you're on your own now. (laughs) (laughs) And, you know, I I had to learn, because in in a way, it's it's the same as making a radio show. You know, you have to prepare, you have to do your research, you have to tell your story, you have to play your records, and you have to have these places of interest, and after a while, when you have the story correct, then you're fine. Wonderful. Stay tuned. Yep. Stay tuned for more. Coming up soon. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, founder of Yongevity, a publicly traded company. We're very excited about it. We're in 55 countries and just, just really helping the world. Just very excited. I've been sharing this message for over 30 years, and it has not changed with the changing times. Every man, woman, and child needs the 90 essential nutrients just to survive, much less to thrive, to put the odds in your favor to live as long as possible with the highest possible quality of life. You must get these nutrients every day. I am Nasima of the Nasima Omar radio show and a key leader distributor of Longevity. I take the nutritional supplements that Dr. Joel Wallach has put together in a neat package, Healthy Body Start Pack, and get all the 90 essential nutrients daily. Get started on yours today from my online store, NasimaOmar.com. That's NasimaOmar.com or call 877-279-9422. Warning, if you're drowning in debt you can't afford, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to pay it all back, because you don't. 
What the credit card companies don't want you to know is that there's actually a way to get debt-free without paying off your entire debt or going bankrupt. If you have $5,000 or more in credit card debt, you now have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. For free information, call Credit Associates now. 1-800-959-5759. We'll even show you how much money you could save. If you can't afford to pay off all your debt, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to. Call Credit Associates now for free information on how to get debt-free faster than you ever thought possible without debt consolidation or bankruptcy. We depend on your success and offer a guarantee, so there's no risk. For free information, call now. 1-800-959-5759. That's 1-800-959-5759. 1-800-959-5759. With uncertain times in the United States, it's only prudent to consider storing precious metals in a safe place outside our borders. At Miles Franklin, we have done just that for you. Partnered with the most respected storage company in the industry, Miles Franklin is proud to offer the only fully insured private safe deposit box program in North America held in Vancouver and Toronto. Send us your previously purchased precious metals or have one of our brokers help you purchase something new. Questions? Please call one of our experienced brokers at 866-485-4346. Solid Foundational Storage, partnered with the most respected name in security. Maintaining an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating and residing in Minnesota, the only state in America that regulates the precious metals industry, making doing business in precious metals with Miles Franklin, the safest choice. Call us at 866-485-4346. Again, that's 866-485-4346. Miles Franklin Limited, a name you can trust. Heart-related health problems affect millions of people each year. Maybe you're one of the many who suffer from issues related to angina pain, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, unbalanced cholesterol, irregular heartbeat, or clogged arteries. There is a solution that doesn't involve expensive prescription drugs that only mask the problem and leave you with horrible side effects. If you are ready to live your life free of sickness, pain, and fear, live your life with increased vitality, energy, and youthfulness, and experience your body healing itself, then you're ready for heart and body extract from Healthy Hearts Club. Here is what one satisfied customer had to say about heart and body extract regarding his angina pain. I haven't had an angina pain since I've been on it. The heart and body extract is just so great. I thank God that I was led to this product that's doing so much for me and that can do so much for other people. Call to order your two-month supply of heart and body extract today. Call 1-866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. It's been said any society is only three missed meals away from chaos those times may be near think about it our country faces multiple terrorist threats and aggressions from russia and north korea social unrest and violent marches yet again may lead to looting of stores and city shutdowns and our crumbling infrastructure leaves our power grid vulnerable to long-term outages from a single cyber attack when the chaos from any one of these threats arises the government knows it can't provide during a widespread national emergency that's why you need your own plan for self-reliance that's where my patriot supply comes in get a four-week survival food supply for only 99 dollars. that includes breakfast lunches and dinners order online at preparewithgcn.com 99 bucks for four weeks of survival food that tastes like homemade cooking and lasts up to 25 years from my patriot supply get your kits today at preparewithgcn.com free shipping is included preparewithgcn.com Welcome, welcome back, and thank you for listening to the Natima Almer Show. I do have to give credit to Lindsay Sterling, the artist of the bumper music that plays on my show. I love it. Do you enjoy that music, uh, Mark? It's good. It's great. It's a nice bumper, yeah. Yes, it's beautiful. I stumbled on <laughs> Lindsay Sterling, actually, by chance. Oh, well as done. I, yeah, as I was listening to some music, and I just love it. I'm I'm happy that you're enjoying it, too. Well, just before we went to break, so here you are in Memphis. Right? And, yep. uh, yep. And, and you're right. Absolutely. The prep work, the research, the studying. And what happens now? You're in Memphis. Your good neighbor says, okay, he's done his duty. <laughs> and 
now it's all you. Well, you know, um, the, the, for the first couple of days, I think the first two or three days, he was he was riding in front, and after three days, he said, "Okay, you'll be in front now." So you know, you you have to uh, look at the GPS and all kind of stuff, and and see where the brakes are, and so he was preparing me for mm-hmm. for for doing that kind of job, because you have to have all kind of things in mind. Yeah, how how much time is there left? When is our next? museum, what time do we have dinner, how far is it to the hotel, there's a hundred things in running through your head, and you want to, you know, these people who are paying to, to, to ride with you, uh, are expecting you to, to, to give them a good time, and, and, and they're right. And, 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 and I'm sorry, Mark, and also they look at you as like Mr. Know-it-all, like you know yeah, everything yeah. that you've been there a million times before, and so forth. Yeah, 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 and, and uh, I, I've been there not a million times before. Maybe I, I, I was, I, I was, I was uh, been uh, to Memphis at that point. Maybe, maybe five or six times, and okay. New Orleans maybe three, or four times, and and uh, you know, I, I was, I was familiar, but I was, I was no, I was, I was not an expert. <laughs> Uh, nowadays, I've been there so many times. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, I really know my way around in all these cities. But mm-hmm. you know, you have to learn. Yes. And um, it, it was fun. And after I did that for a couple of times, uh, I thought, well, this is the point to write a book mm-hmm. about my experiences. Um, what 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 are the people I, I meet there? What are the stories um, people tell me? Uh, what is the history of American music? Uh, let me combine all this in, in a book. Mm-hmm. And that became the Big Bang of pop, pop music. So this is really about the roots of American music, about jazz, blues, uh, gospel, soul, rock and roll. Where did it all start? Mm-hmm. And it all started eventually in this tiny area between Nashville, Memphis, and New Orleans, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of small, uh, Mississippi Delta and, and surroundings. So, but this is really where all this Afer- African music, uh, music came from. And, um, and that's quite a fascinating story to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the name of your book, The Big Bang of Pop Music, and understandably it's a book in Dutch, Right? And, You're right. Okay. So, I mean, I love the title. It's a great catching title, The Big Bang of Pop Music. I was so happy to find that one. You know, sometimes you think, oh, my God, how, how do I call this book? How do I yes. call this book? And then I thought, it's the Big Bang. It's the origin of music. And Big Bang has also got to do with music. You know, a bang. That's mm-hmm. pop music as well. So I was really happy with that title. Yeah. And suddenly it it dawned upon me. Okay, this is the title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love it. I love that title, and that's so amazing. Now you found a need. Well, before I go to that, before the need for editing and coming up with a more up-to-date version, you have met some very very interesting. Prominent people, people in the, who have been in the news, the headlines, famous people on your journeys. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> lucky you, lucky you, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's part of the it's part of the profession when you interview people. Yeah, you meet a lot of people. That that's what happens. <laughs> yes, it does absolutely, and it's a fun part. It's a fun part meeting new people, seeing what they're like in in person or by voice or by talking, and really getting to know a little more of their personal elements. And it's fascinating. It's it fascinating. is. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. I mean, like me, I met you through Simone. We met in Amsterdam. I wish we had more time next time. We will have yeah, more sure. time to have a cup of coffee or something, but it's so yes. wonderful to be talking to you now and learning so much more about you, um, your adventures, your likes, dislikes, your journey of, uh, you know, your profession, etc. It's fascinating in all the personal elements. It just ties it all up together. So, Thank you. Yeah. So, so the big bang of pop music where would you say was the point it talks about history the evolution of music the 
origin of music. And if you were to pick one favorite, I know this is hard, one favorite part of your book, what would it be? Well, really the beginning, because really the beginning of American music is Congo Square in New Orleans. That is where African rhythms combined with um, the, the instruments of the uh, European colonists for the first time. Mm-hmm. So that, was, that wasn't jazz or that wasn't blues or that wasn't rock and roll or something, mm-hmm. but that was the first time that these two big um, worlds collided into, into some sort of new music. And that really happened on Congo Square in, in New Orleans. And it's, that, that ended with the ending of the, of the Civil War. So uh, 1863, of the, the ending of slavery, I must say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, ending of um, the Civil Wars, 1865. And from there on, the music um, moved to Treme, which was the first black neighborhood in America where even blacks lived before, on a free basis, before the end of the Civil War. Um, and this is where the music really continued after that. And after Treme, it went to Storyville, which was, of course, the big, let's say, pleasure <laughs> uh, quarter of, of New Orleans, mm-hmm. with all of the whorehouses yes. and all of the cafes and all of the you know, theaters and everything, mm-hmm. and that is where jazz was born. So you could say that, it's, that, that jazz wasn't born there at Congo Square, but the music went from Congo Square to, to Treme, from Treme to Storyville, and that's the beginning of jazz. Uh, and that, that's really a fascinating idea, I think. So Very it, interesting. <laughs> yeah, because that was the only place in America at the time where this was allowed, uh, because... As you probably know, New Orleans was a Catholic mm-hmm. uh, colony. Mm-hmm. It belonged to the French. After that, it belonged to yes. the Spanish for, for a short period of time, then to the uh, French again. And these Catholics were a little bit easier on their slaves than, uh, than Protestants who were more in the north. Okay. People in the north thought it was far too dangerous to have these people... Um, going out with their drums because drums were, you know, maybe calling for war or for resistance or what have you. But in New Orleans they said, well, you know, it's okay. Let, let them have their drums. And if they want to play some flute with that and some banjo, why not? Mm-hmm. So that was really the, the only place in America that, that this was allowed. And that is really where it all started. And you still can visit that place, Congo Square, is uh, part of Louis Armstrong Park um, in New Orleans, and it's it's really the birthplace of, of American music. Oh, wonderful. Now I'm tempted to go visit there. You should, you should, because, you know, I go there twice a year or three times a year, and um, I always take my group with that, and there's a lot of people there, but now, people from out of town, they really don't know what happened. What, why that is such a unique place. Wonderful. Now, and, and you still give tours. But now here's the catch. I want, you won't see me coming on a motorcycle to be part of your tour. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I could be a passenger with my helmet and all, but... No problem. I have passengers once in a while. There you but, go. After, after I did this tour, uh, we mm-hmm. thought of, well, let's do more musical tours. Okay. So I have another tour, uh, and that is done by, by another colleague of mine, mm-hmm. who does more or less the same tour, but, but then with a bus. And uh, we also do a tour to Liverpool, uh, to, to have the origins of the Beatles. Yes. And we go to the West Coast, do San Francisco and L.A. I also do a tour in New York and Woodstock, so we have more musical tours now. Oh, wonderful. I do want to connect with you because I will probably catch one of these music tours with you sometime soon. That'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah. Now, tell me, um, Mark, it's such an interesting topic, and you've got so much information in your book. Have you ever considered having the book translated into English? Um, of course, it, yeah. it, it um, you know, it, 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 um, it was in my, it was in my mind, but 
in America, there's so many great writers on um, on American music uh, who really, really know so much about American music. And I'm, I'm this guy from Harlem, so <laughs> I don't think the American people is really waiting for a guy from Amsterdam to explain them <laughs> about their history. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, uh, yes. I, I'm thinking of, of translating it into German. Oh, uh, wonderful. I think that, that would be a good idea. And maybe translating it in, it in Italian as well, because people from, from Germany and Italy are really quite interested in the history of American music. So that, that would be my next step, really. Wonderful. Yeah. Great if idea. If you have a publisher for me in America, I wouldn't say no. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, wonderful ideas there. Wonderful ideas. And you are coming out, you're working on another edition of your book or... Oh, the need to update it, or what's going on there, Mark? Yeah, um, I published this book um, four years ago, and um, you know, some, yeah, something really. If it, it is about the history, but still, some things change because what I do in the book is is write about my own experiences mm -hmm. uh, during my travels. It's it's my knowledge, let's say, from books, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's my interviews with people I meet, uh, and that combined is is my story. Oh, wonderful! Uh, That's a good spot for us to stop for these commercials, okay. and we'll okay. be right back after this quick short break. Right. Okay. Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to Nutramedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutralized the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888 212 8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-261-9818 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-261-9818. Again, 800-261-9818. If you owe money to the IRS, you need to hear this. The IRS is cracking down on those who owe back taxes. It starts with a devastating letter. And if you don't act immediately, you could find yourself having your wages garnished or have a lien placed on your property. But there's a solution. Tax 10,000 can help. Avoid enforced compliance, where these holds on your income and seizure of your home could become a nightmare that just won't end. Call 800-239-9957 now and speak to one of our experts. 800-239-9957 is the number to link you directly to a tax resolution specialist who will negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. Working through the IRS Fresh Start program, all the forms will be handled for you. All you have to do is make the toll-free call, 800-239-9957. Find out if you qualify and possibly save yourself thousands of dollars, not to mention a lot of headaches. It could be the best call you've made today. That number again, 800-239-9957. The service does not provide tax settlement or legal services. We will refer you to a company that does provide such services. Often the IRS will not agree to any reduction in the amount owed. Not all taxpayers who owe more than $10,000 will qualify for a tax reduction program. 
Frustrated trying to get business capital? Want to take the slow process and rejection out of the equation? GCNLoans.com removes the slow, irritating approval process. Instead, get quick, simple funding. Powered by David Allen Capital, 80% of our pre-qualified clients are approved in days. Pre-qualify at GCNLoans.com and get your money this week. It's that easy. GCNLoans.com. That's GCNLoans.com. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the inventor of my pillow. And like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. Pillows would go flat. I would flip flop all night long. I would wake up with a sore neck, maybe a headache, or feel like I needed a nap, even though I slept eight hours. When I invented my pillow, I wanted it to where you could move the patented fill to give you the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of sleep position. My pillow will get you into that deep REM sleep faster, and you will stay there longer. It's not about how much time we spend in bed; it's about how much of that quality sleep we get. I do all of my own manufacturing right here in the United States. I have a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry my pillow, and I give you a 60-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. And here's my best offer ever. You can buy one of my pillows and get one absolutely free. Go to MyPillow.com or call 800-870-0305 and use promo code GCN. That's MyPillow.com or 800-870-0305 with promo code GCN. Water is the single most important thing your body needs, so you want to be sure it's the best for you and your family. Since 2005, thousands have depended on Berkey Purified Water. The Berkey Guy provides the lowest priced filtration systems in every size. For incredibly delicious water now and in an emergency, get to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to the Nasima Omer Show. I am Nasima, your host. I'm interviewing Mark Stuckenberg today. And this is our very last segment. So if you've, you're just joining the show. You must be joking. I know. Time flies when we're having fun. I'm, I'm not, I know. <laughs> Already. We'll have to do another. You'll have to come back. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want to hear all your stories. I know time flies. But, you know, people can listen to the archives, the podcast, look for the YouTube file that I put together with some nice pictures of Amsterdam. You'll be able to put a face to the voice of Mr. Mark Stackenberg. And, Mark, tell us. I'm enjoying your stories. I do want to hear more, as I'm sure my audience, too, as well, and all the listeners. So. Yes. Yeah. How do people find you? How can people find you and get information on your tours, perhaps? Or do we just reach out to you or go to your website? Um, Well, the name of my company is called uh, Music Trails. So if you go on the Internet and search for musictrails.nl, NL is is for Holland, Netherlands, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Music Trails, NL. And there you can find my, 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 my travels. I also have a personal website, which is partly in English. It's a bit outdated, to be, <laughs> to be honestly honest. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, um, and, and there you can find a lot of information, I think. But also, please drop me an email, if you like, at uh, info at markstakenberg.nl. Okay, wonderful. And if you're wondering... Where those resources will be posted, I'll have them posted on a static picture when I put the YouTube file video into a, and put a file into video and put it out there on my YouTube channel, the Nasima Omer Show, or drop me a line as well, and I'll get those resources to you. And that's wonderful. You know, I'll be looking at musictrails.nl. Very soon here, very soon here. So, Mark, um, just before break, you were saying, you know, the book contains more than just history. It has your wonderful experiences and stories of your journeys and music, etc. And you were talking about the birth of your next edition. Yeah, um, because, you know, I, I, we, we used to go to Pro Monkeys, which is... Um, 
uh, for instance, an, an original juke joint near Greenwood in Mississippi. But um, I think um, a year and a half ago or something, um, Mr. Paul Monkeys passed away, and the juke joint has closed down. Mm -hmm. So I really has to, I have to, um, you know, write a little bit uh, on that as well. That, that this uh, juke joint isn't there anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, I also write on my new edition about some other juke joints as well in in, in the south that are still there. Um, and some people passed away, like the sister of Jerry Lee Lewis. Mm -hmm. Who was um, who was ha who was having this uh, museum um, near Natchez in uh, in Mississippi, uh, the Jerry Lewis Museum? She passed away as well, and her daughter is now doing the um, the museum over there, which is a great museum. It's not really a museum; it's his it's his house where he used to live when he was a young guy, and it's it's an experience. It's it's crazy, and more stuff like that. So you know things happen, even even it's, uh, if it's history that you are talking about. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, I am just so excited and so happy that you accepted to do this radio interview today with me here, and I look forward to more to come along because your stories are amazing. I am just enjoying learning and listening. And I'm also in, uh, I'm also having this new story on on Johnny Cash and the Carter family. That was really something that was you know it, it, that was, I didn't have enough on on country music. Of course, country music is so important as well for uh, the history of American music. And I had this piece. On, on Jimmy Rogers, uh, but not enough on Johnny Carter and the Carter family. Mm -hmm. and, and they are really the backbone of country music. And uh, I, I met him. So, oh, you know. wonderful. We'll have to slate that for more, more on <laughs> that. That's fascinating. Thank you so much, Mark, for being on my show. And thank you to all the listeners for tuning in today. Do look for the archive and podcast and the YouTube video file. Thank you so much, Mark. You're welcome, Lucina. Thank you so much for having me. Stay warm there in Holland. Uh, well, 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 it will be spring sometime. <laughs> Same as in here in our sunny Minnesota with snow showers. Wonderful uh, weekend, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Nasima of the Nasima Omar radio show and a key leader distributor of Longevity. I take the nutritional supplements that Dr. Joel Wallach has put together in a neat package, Healthy Body Start Pack, and get all the 90 essential nutrients daily. Get started on yours today from my online store, NasimaOmar.com. That's NasimaOmar.com or call 877-279-9422. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, founder of Longevity, a publicly traded company. We're very excited about it. We're in 55 countries and just, just really helping the world, just very excited. I've been sharing this message for over 30 years, and it has not changed with the changing times. Every man, woman, and child needs the 90 essential nutrients just to survive, much less to thrive, to put the odds in your favor to live as long as possible with the highest possible quality of life. You must get these nutrients every day. Face it, today's electric power grid is more vulnerable than ever. From natural disasters to EMP attacks and hacking, the grid could be crippled for days or even decades in the most dire scenarios. Visit quantumharvest.net to see our built-to-last EMP-protected solar power systems. While millions suffer, you'll have vital power for water pumps, refrigeration, and sanitation. Now that's peace of mind. EMP-protected solar power systems for every need and budget. See our full range at quantumharvest.net. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com.